Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I will teach you about the staging functionality of SiteGround's WordPress hosting. So I will quickly show you how to use it and how to use, uh, how to full deploy the staging area and replace it with your live site. So let's start. First I will show you my current website. To access your current website, go to install and manage and then from here go to, uh, you will see all the WordPress installation hosted on your uh, the dashboard so this is the main uh, domain and these two are the subdomains so if you want to learn how to install WordPress on a subdomain you can watch my other tutorial uh, in my previous video I have shown you how to do it so let's get back to the current tutorial and let me log into the admin uh, WordPress dashboard so this is the main domain and let me show you how this website looks right now and um, okay so so this is how this website looks right now and now let's go back to the SiteGround dashboard and then go to staging so from here to create a staging copy uh, what you have to do is select this uh, select the domain for which you want to create the staging area and then enter the staging name and click on creates uh, as you can see here i have created some staging copies here and um, so let me explain you what staging does here it basically what happens is it creates a copy of your wordpress installation on a subdomain which is hosted also on SiteGround. for example if you are installing a new plugin or updating a plugin or installing a new theme or make you know making any changes to your themes or your website so if you have a, like an online store or e-commerce store you don't want to make changes to the live site area so instead what you can do is uh, make all the changes on the staging site and make sure that everything is working perfectly and you're happy with the changes and then if you're happy with the changes what you can do is just full deploy deploy the staging copy and what that will replace the live site with the staging copy so let me show you how to do it so before doing anything let's create a backup for that go to um, security and then you'll see this option backups and uh, create a backup um, new before staging okay so let's create a backup okay so the backup process is complete and you will see this message so now let's go back to the staging area for that go to wordpress and then go to staging and let's create a first here it's important to select the correct domain and then create a new let's say new test 2 you can name it anything you want so then click on create okay so the staging area has been created and you will see this option to directly log into the admin panel um, I will not use this option either and I will use this option you will you can see the staging copy here in the list and I will just select this option log into admin panel option click on it and this will directly log in you uh, to the dashboard of the staging WordPress website and you do not have to enter username and password again so i find it more convenient so here you will see you can see i will show you how this website looks and this will look exactly the same as the live site this is the live site and this is the staging site you can see only difference is the subdomain and, um, and it's basically same so now let's make some changes to the staging site for example i will change uh, the theme okay so let's let me select this theme I will activate this theme the theme skip and activate theme okay now let's visit the site so now you can see this is how our staging website looks and this is how our main website looks so now what do we want to if we are happy with the staging website what we can do is go to SiteGround dashboard and from here you will see this three dots and here all the available actions you can see all the options and first is the full deploy and I will show you how to do it and the second is the custom deploy it's more for advanced users I will show you um, this 
but um, this will show you like you can select which exact changes you want to deploy to the main website but so this is really for the advanced users and most people um, so if you know if you have made like uh, so just you want to deploy one change so you can use that but it's, it's a bit complicated so let's cancel it and go back here and third option is destroy which is pretty self-explanatory you will just dest uh, destroy the staging copy and fourth option is to replicate that will create a copy of the staging area and uh, the last option is rename which is again pretty simple so let the main uh, this action is the full deploy let's try this click on it and this will show you this one in deploy deploying the staging will replace your live site with the staging copy so uh, if you click on confirm this will replace your live site with the staging copy so make sure that before you do this create a backup of your live site as i have done before so now click on confirm as once you deploy it there is no uh, way to go back to the previous uh, version so unless you have a backup okay so the staging has been successfully deployed let's close this and now let's go back to the our main website i will close the staging website and this is the main website let's refresh it and see if the changes have been made so as you can see the theme has been changed and um, it is using the theme we used on the staging copy so basically this is how simply the staging function works and um, you know the basic function is you make some if you want to make any changes you know before doing it on the live site you can do it on the staging site and um, make sure that you are happy with the changes and then deploy it on the live site so it really makes things easier especially if you have a mission critical website like um, e-commerce store or something you know that's really important you don't want to mess up your customer orders and um, things like that so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did so please leave a like and post in the comments here give your suggestions feedback and i will see you in the next video